What's going on, Show Nation? It's Movie with Movie Gaming TV, and in today's video, we've got to talk about one of the best ways to make stubs to get XP to go along the team affinity path. There's going to be a lot in this video, and this is all legit. There's no glitch or anything like that. This is just a smart way about going about things, and this is specifically for my no money spent grinders and for my players out there that watch my channel that aren't like, oh, I'm going to go 12-0 and and be the best player and be our history. Like, this is just for your casual player. Just a very smart way about going about things and just like kind of a deeper dive into how things are going. So, grind to 99. We've got Jared Kelnick in the game now for collecting 10 prospect cards. Here's a look at his card it's 96 80 80 70 he also has 85 fielding and 80 speed this is a super popular card in mlb like this is just like with major league baseball fans people really like jared kalanick so there's gonna be a lot of people that want to go after this card and he's not too bad across the board he's not like fantastic or anything but he's not too bad across the board also so with this collection you know it says collect 10 over there Obviously, you're not going to want to collect like Wander Franco or Julio Rodriguez or Adley Rutschman or CJ Abrams or any of these higher diamond cards. You don't want to collect those because they're just going for way too many stubs. It doesn't make any sense to collect them. You wouldn't keep them fluid. But a lot of these gold cards are going to be collected to get that. And these gold cards are going up drastically in value. There's Eric Pena right there, 8,000 to 7,000. Look at this card right here, Lewis Gill, 9,000 to 7,500. Very, very solid right there. You can also flip these cards as well. So these are going to be some flippable cards that you can sell as well. I'm not sure how fast they're going to be moving, but they do have some decent price gaps if you want to flip them. And they're going to be popping for today because everyone's going to want to get this new Jared Kalanick. But the thing is, how do you get these gold cards? How do I have them? Did I buy them out of the market? I did not buy them. Look, like this is a nice price gap right here. Look at this price gap. It's even more, but somebody put something else. So I'm going to check the price gap. If I were to get this card, I can make 600 subs just on like a quick flip. So I might put it in order for this card right now just to go ahead and flip it. But here's the thing. I did not buy all these cards out of the market. I got all these gold cards that I have for free. And I want to show you how you get these gold cards for free. It's actually very, very simple. And it's a good use of your time. If you are in that that group that I said, like you, you're not going to be going 12 and 0. You're not. You're just kind of like learning the game right now. You're getting things going. Go to go to single player modes and you're going to go to conquest, right? You're going to go to the nation of baseball challenge. Look at the rewards that it says that it gives you. It says it gives you the earn. You get the rookie Albert Pujols. So you get a beast Albert Pujols type of card. And then you get six prospect packs as well. The six prospect packs, they contain those gold cards and you can sell those gold cards. So it's a very good way about going about things. Let's look at the goals. See what happens here. It says capture the AL East team strongholds, AL Central, AL West, NL East, NL Central, NL West. This has a conquest reward, basically a choice pack that you can choose out of there. And once you choose one of the cards in there, you can either go to collect it for Kalanick, which, hey, if you want to do it, that's fine. But I almost think you're better off just getting these cards and selling them. And if they're going for about like... 8k to 9k a piece right now because of that new Kalanick part of the collection you could complete this map and in theory make like you know 40 50,000 60,000 subs or what have you so it's something to think about right now not only to mention I should also mention as you go through this map you're going to get a ton of innings for team affinity you're going to get a ton of xp by playing a lot of easy games versus cpu on rookie and basically all you have to do is just like after you're done watching this video just go and look up a video on how to be conquest there's like been thousands of them out there it hasn't changed conquest has pretty much been the exact same for a really long time there's a ton of tutorials on them the basic thing that you're going to want to do is i even have one with the jackie robinson collection that you could uh you could look at maybe i'll link that video at the end of this video but here's the thing basically you can see like the team logos all you want to do is play the team logos all these other matchups like if i had like a six to one right here i'm just gonna simulate it and by building up my reinforcements i'm never gonna have to play any of these other games i just have to play the stronghold games and by maximizing my reinforcements as well i'm just going to play them on rookie so the games are going to be really 
pretty easy regardless of what team that you have. You knock out all these, you get the prospect packs, you sell the prospects in the market. Don't put them at, don't just quick sell them, put them at the top listing, wait for them to sell. You're going to be able to make a ton of subs. And also, I mean, like when you go in here, right? So you go in here and you look at the team affinity. So if we go programs, team affinity, let's just look at the Aero Central. So if you were to take your team and go through this, like, and you just like stack your teams with, you know, White Sox, Indians, Tigers, Royals, and uh, Twins players, then you will be able to like knock out a lot of these innings. And then let's say you get the Grady Sizemore pack, you know, as you go along this, you get like one of the flashbacks and legends and you pick up Grady Sizemore. Hey, throw him on the team, throw Grady Sizemore on the team, knock out these hits doing this map while you're going up to get these, these gold cards to sell. You know what I mean? So you can knock out a lot of stuff here very very simply why and the end goal of being the u.s conquest map is like 50 to thousand or you know fifty thousand subs let's say like that's pretty good for being the conquest map like that wasn't very difficult you're getting a lot of innings towards some other stuff maybe you're paralleling some of your favorite cards like that usa conquest map is very very good this year and not a lot of, i just not, i'm not seeing a lot of people talk about it but it's a very good way to grind this game especially if you're just getting your feet wet with this game it's a very 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 good thing to do and it's very easy like you can just chill watch a stream you know do whatever you want it's not like going to be super super intense where you're just like oh man this is really really stressful you know maybe you play it for a little bit maybe you play a little bit online do whatever you'd like to do but you can also chill and flip in the market while you're playing those games as well you know so there's a lot of uh there's a lot of stuff now to that usa conquest map and i'm making this video because i don't want you to sleep on it it's very 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 good before we end the video i want to show you one other thing that was happening to me today and it is a road to the show fix it's my own personal fix of how to do this so what was happening is I've been grinding out my road to the show player and also if you want to get a ton of XP grind out your road to the show player and what I have for my settings is I have uh, let's see here let's go to settings and go to mode specific I've turned on the fielding op opportunities I don't do the base running right now but I have on all the fielding opportunities because I I did so much hitting that like my, and also make sure you have it on beginner like the reason you want it on beginners because they never throw any pitches at our balls and it makes it easy just to smash home runs but the thing is i do have on on the fielding opportunities because i do get decent xp from the fielding opportunities and plus since i was just hitting for so long with my player i was not building up my fielding from like the the computer just fielding like i needed to do my fielding so i can get it to 50 so when i take him in Di diamond dynasty against high level competition like he's 50 across the board he's not just like has a so-so arm and so-so fielding it's really really easy to do the fielding too it doesn't even take that much more time but what i want to talk about today is what was happening a lot to me was i was in this and i was getting a ton of blue screen so i play the game and i was getting a blue screen so i'm going to show you how to fix that so it doesn't happen to you so I'm going to go ahead and play a game right now. I'm going to show you what you need to do to not get blue screen so it makes sense. Here's an example of the fielding opportunities. Like we got somebody on first, so I'm just going to probably roll a double play. It's going to be on the ground. And see, it gives you that indicator. Just boom, throw it over to first. Get plus fielding, get plus arm act, get plus arm strength. It's really, really super easy. Uh, that was really weird. We, got an, we saw an injury to somebody out there. Uh, that that does not happen very often hitting very easy as well just smashing the ball lots of games like i didn't do too well in that one but there's been a lot of games where i have like three home run games it's very very easy to get your hitting up and then just doing the fielding as well just pay attention to like maybe like who's on base like and you'll pretty much tell you what you need to do it's gonna be a ground ball another double play right at me triangle throw it over throw it over very very easy like very very easy I was just like watching a podcast all day. You don't have to like think too much about doing this. Here's the home run. Probably got on top of, or I got that one, I think. And then uh, if you want to download my stadium as well, like go download my stadium because my stadium's got max elevation. It's really, really easy to hit home runs here. All right, so the plays at first. That's like the one thing you got to keep in mind, but they also will give you this indicator if you turn it on your settings of where to throw the ball. Just go get the ground ball throw it over to first base i mean it's super easy the uh, hopefully i have a decent rest of this game uh, maybe i'll get close to like a thousand xp but you really can get close to like a thousand xp that's a decent base hit we'll take that we'll take that we want those like three home run games you know what i mean but it is what it is all right we're down we're up three to two let's get this insurance run right here for the club 
uh looks like we got another home run so i mean there's there's games i'll have like four home runs like it's nothing and you see on beginner like they just throw it like right down the middle that's it's literally designed so you don't have to take pitches we only got 773 xp but there are games where i get like 1000 or like 1100 it just kind of depends on what happens in the game i wish i would hit some more home runs but here's the thing you can see it blanked out on the top left where it says play next game this must be the end of the series or whatever but where it says play next game do not click that button right now do not click that button right now if you click that button right now that's how things get messed up and that's how you get blue screen it happened to me multiple times i also what i did in mine too is i simmed all the way to the all-star game so if you don't care about that like i did like the home run derby and the all-star game because i simmed away from some of the other stuff so i did do that i want to make sure i said that too but don't go to play next game don't go to play next game just go back to the clubhouse every single time go back to the clubhouse every single time it really doesn't take that long to load especially on ps5 it takes like no time at all honestly go back here go through that screen go through that screen like you do and then just hop right back into uh you know play and just play like that and then you'll never get i have not gotten blue screened at all just by doing that go into the practice field see we're getting close we're getting close to getting everything maxed out go ahead and hit events and then play the game like that but if you go back every single time to the clubhouse instead of going to play next game i know playing next game is more convenient but i'm telling you probably gonna get blue screen right now so don't do that and that's that's just gonna waste your time just go back to the clubhouse it's been working fine for me uh since i've been doing that so uh, i highly recommend that well uh let's see we get the nice you got my feeling is going way up since i've been doing that i'm gonna hit one more home run and then i'm gonna end the video hopefully i hit a home run either, either that or i'm gonna mess it up no it's just a base hit but we'll take a base hit around here i think my power versus right might even be like maxed out at this point all right maybe one more fielding play all right just just in the video just in the video all right one more fielding play one more fielding play let's go let's go let's go charge it very i mean see how easy it is just put on the throw meeting with your settings but just make sure you have on button accuracy that's what i would say let's see i think it's in general fielding aids on route to ball on base for play icon on Cast position indicator accuracy uh perfect all right that's it that's it actually one more home run one more home run and then we're out of here did i get all of it i got all of it i got all of it all right i can end my video now thanks for watching i'll link that conquest video for jackie robinson because you want to get a bunch of free equipment for free all right peace out y'all